Hello and welcome to the Radical Self Care Summit. And I'm here today with the absolutely fabulous Cheryl and Jeanette. Did I pronounce your name correctly, Cheryl? Yes, Cheryl and Jeanette. Is that French? That has to be French. <laughs> it's meant to be. I made it up. Oh, you made it up. Oh, well, that's so cool because I made my well, name up. There's a whole, yeah, there's a whole story there. Oh, I, I want to hear that story. Definitely. Well, Cheryl, just for the sake of our audience who may or may not be familiar with your work and what you do, I would love for you to share a little bit about your background and what, what had you say yes to being a speaker at the Radical Self-Care Summit? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, you know, Kara, I, I had almost, I would actually say not almost, more than 30 years in the business world. I was a senior executive of a couple of very, very large companies, billion dollar companies. I was a serial entrepreneur, one of my entrepreneurial ventures I had for close to 20 years. Um, and I've helped a lot of companies grow over the years. And so I kind of had that, um, I would say that experience in business in multiple areas, uh, multiple levels. And, you know, I've had all the experiences, you know, being the new one on the block, being that middle manager, having managers reporting to me and, and teaching them management, you know, being that entrepreneur and trying to get things going. So in that, I was always attracted to really the human potential side of business, really seeing organizations thrive you know, everything around organizational health. And so I did a deep dive into the healing arts. I became an integrative hypnotherapist, which means I practiced and studied multiple modalities of hypnotherapy. Um, I'm an energy healer. I work with um, NLP, I'm an NLP master, um, stress, anxiety, and emotional regulations. So I have a clinical certification in that. And I have an advanced certification in cognitive behavioral neuroscience. And with that, I really bring that together to sort of bring business and mindset together to really help people um, live the life they deserve. And, you know, we talk about the life and sometimes we separate our regular life from our business life when in fact we spend so much time in our business. So it really is part of our life. Mm, amazing. And yeah, so um, why this summit? Like what really drew you to say yes? Uh, what really drew me to say yet, it, yes is that I truly don't believe that women and men too, but especially women, they really don't understand how essential, how important self-care is. You know, self-care is the way we can bypass things like burnout. Self-care is the way that we keep ourselves whole. Self-care is the way we stay re-energized. It's one of the most important ways. And so self-care is not selfish. Self-care is essential. I'm with you on that one for sure. So what are you up to right now? And what is a big audacious goal that you have for yourself? Oh, that's such a great question. Right now, you know, I'm just in the midst of launching my book, The Imposter Lies Within. So I'm kind of known as the imposter syndrome girl or guru or whatever G you want to pick. Um, and that really came from that background, that overlap, that intersection between business and mindset. So I have my new book. Um, it's actually on pre-sale right now, so I can tell you more about that later. And I'm in the midst of launching the book and also launching, you know, what most people would think of as a course, I call it a journey, because I really believe that we can get past imposter syndrome. So I, I really show people how to do that. And I take people through that process so that they can get to the other side. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow. Thanks so much for sharing that. I cannot wait to read your book. So, okay, one more question. So what are participants going to learn from you today? Well, you know, one of the things that I think happens with imposter syndrome is there are a lot of myths out there and there are a lot of misunderstandings. So one of the things is really getting clear about what imposter syndrome is and what it isn't, um, how it shows up and how to get Asked it because you really can. A lot of people think you just have to live with it or it's always going to come up. You know, you have uncertainties, you're in something new. 
and then you know imposter syndrome bears its ugly head and i'm going to show you how you can actually get past that too so yeah Oh, I can't wait. All right. Well, we're going to dig into your session shortly. Thanks so much, Cheryl, and we'll see you in just a minute.